What's wrong? You. Me? You have been overdoing it for days, at work and with Roxy. Uh, listen, I'm not going to stand here listening to you lecture me. You have no choice. What? Why should I listen to you? You didn't even trust me enough to tell me you were a cop. I was doing you a favor. Some favor, huh? Look, you're tired. I'm not going to fight with you and make it worse. You are not up to it. Who are you to tell me what I'm up for? I can see it in your eyes. Your eyes tell me everything I need to know about you. Don't be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. I'm just concerned about Roxy. So am I. Well, then I think you'd be thanking me for trying to take care of her. Look, you're running around making yourself sick is not going to do her any favors. I'm not exhausted. I'm fine. Just look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine, and I don't need to sit down. Too bad you're going to. Now listen to me. No. Give me five minutes. That is all I ask. Five minutes. Start now. Thank you. Now, you've got to start thinking before you jump. There are things I want in life, too, but I just don't go out and grab them. Do you think that's what I do? Well, I don't. I'm trying to take care of Roxy. Look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to come down on you so hard. It's just that, just that sometimes, sometimes your actions put you in danger. And I don't want to ha see anything happen to you. You don't? No. <laughs> Which is why I didn't tell you I was a cop. Mm. And if they thought you knew and it hurt you, I, I don't want them hurting you. That's nice. Well, as you know, I, I didn't tell anybody. H.B. brought me here, and then your Uncle Josh found out. But I figured they could take care of themselves. You understand that? Hey. Hey. Short stuff. You or something else. Let's name our baby if it's a boy. Oh, not Cedric. No. Shane. Shane Lewis. Shane. Well, I love it. But what if it's a girl? <laughs> the only two names that I could think of. Martha or Sarah. Martha or Sarah. Reva, what's wrong? Reva? 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 Uh, Geneva. Listen, I'm sorry to wake you up, but I'm a little worried. Why? What's wrong? I've looked everywhere, and I can't find her. Who? Your mother. She's missing. I will get it. Oh, thank you. Hello? We? Oui? 
Dr. Farrar, it's Joshua. Joshua, my friend, how are you? Better than I have been in a long time, thank you. Excellent. We are all fine, too. I know Reva is anxious to talk to you. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Joshua? How you doing, darling? Oh, terrific now. I have some good news. What? Rusty captured the man who kidnapped Roxy and Mindy. He did? Yes, he did. The man's behind bars where he belongs. Oh, thank God. Well, has he talked? No, no, not yet. But we know he's connected to Gearhart somehow, so it's only a matter of time before he spills the beans, and then this whole thing will be over. Oh, Joshua. Does that mean that we can be together soon? I hope so. Oh, me too. Because I don't know how much longer I can stand being here without you. I started having dreams about you. You did? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I dreamed that you were here with me. I mean, really, with me. I wish I was having your dreams. <laughs> well, I can't wait until you can make them all come true. Neither can I. It's all going to be over soon, darling, I promise. I love you. Oh, I love you too, Joshua. Bye-bye. Who's ever out to destroy me is out to destroy my family, too. I've got to get to them before they get to us. Rumors on, on Guiding Light. He's crazy, but he's cute. I hate him, but I want him. Oh, that man. Rumors on Guiding Light. I'm a cop. That's what I do. I'm a Shane. That's who I am. And if she doesn't like it, too bad. See if it's so. Weekdays on CBS.